A neighbor of mine asked me this morning what, what I was doing tonight. Did you invite them? And I said, I did. I said, why don't you come along? I'm getting canonized by the Church of No Shopping, of Life After Shopping. What are you doing? And he said, well, I actually got to go buy a car tonight. And he said, what the F do you mean? No shopping. I need a car because I got to get to work because I got to make money to feed my family. That's right. Oh, well, there is that. And I said, I understand. It looks like that. That you need a car because you have to get to work. Now, why do you need a car to get to work? Well, because GM lobbied our government in the 1940s to change the landscape of America so that Americans would need to buy cars in order to get to work. All right, great brother. Great brother, all right. And why do you need to get to work at all? Uh-huh. Because I have a job. Well, why do we have jobs working for companies? Hmm. Because even further back in the 1600s, the kings made a deal. Yeah with the people they called the chartered corporations, the chartered monopolies, to make it illegal for people to do business in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion, and instead to insist that people work for companies and no longer to be able to use peer-to-peer -peer currencies or do favors for one another, but to have to borrow this stuff we're going to call money from a central currency. This is not money, this is a kind of money invented by people who meant to exploit you to prevent you from doing work and exchanging value with other people and to force you instead to work for the man and have value extracted from you. But, but when, you, when you are born into a world in which this is the pre-existing condition. It is very easy to mistake this monopoly game for reality. And it is very easy then to see the planet as a set of regions to be extracted from and exploited. To see one's fellow men and women as marks with whom to be, to be com competing. And to see value and success as a number in your bank statement, or on the Dow Jones, or in the GNP, rather than the amount of love and happiness you can create for your fellows. Amen. So God bless. Wow, preach it, Brother Doug. St. Douglas!